Many Pokemon are based from real animals, like the obvious Ekans being a snake, Pineco being a pinecone, and many, many more. But there are some more obscure references to their real life counterparts. Here's my top three that may surprise you are actually based off real animals. Number three, Drowsy. Drowsy, despite it looking like a bun dipped in chocolate, is actually based on an animal, more specifically the tapir. It shares a similar snout and body, just shy of standing on two legs. But there is another more interesting link between the two creatures. In Chinese and Japanese folklore, the tapir is named after a mythical creature called the Baku. The Baku is known for eating people's nightmares, which correlates to Drowsy being a psychic Pokemon based around hypnotism, and being able to use Dream Eater. Number 2. Mudkip This Pokemon isn't a compilation of random shapes and colours. Mudkip is actually based off an axolotl, also known as a Mexican walking fish. But despite that name, it's not a fish but an amphibian. Now, it's actually in their genes to metamorphosize into an adult form, but they avoided that in the wild by not eating foods with iodine in it, the only source of iodine being other axolotl. But if injected with a dose of iodine, they would in fact turn into their true adult self, a normal lizard salamander looking creature. What you see as an axolotl is actually its infant self. They did this in the wild to stay small and require less food to survive. And because how they look, I mean, look at this, they make us popular pets for aquatic collectors. Now before number one, I have to give an honorary mention. I wanted it on the list, but it's technically not an animal. And that is Vileplume. Vileplume, a Pokemon that isn't hard to deduce its name's meaning, a pluming flower that's vile. This Pokemon is renowned for its horrendous smell, which links it to the real life Rafflesia Hasselti, which I probably said wrong. A large flower which has a smell described as rotting flesh. It also looks like its Pokemon counterpart. And now, number one, Clauncher. Clauncher is the newest crustacean Pokemon introduced in Generation 6, with the rather simple name of Claw and Launch mixed together. But when you look into the real life equivalent that it's based off, you'll be amazed. Turn your eyes to the Alphadi, which again I probably said wrong, or more commonly known as the Pistol Shrimp. At first glance, it doesn't look like much, but this amazing creature can wind up its claw and snap it fast enough to create a pressure bubble which pops and fires at its prey. The sound it creates competes with the decibels of whales. The shot can reach 60 miles per hour and release the sound of 218 decibels. But here's where things get crazy. The mix of sound and the bubble popping can cause solar luminescence, an effect when bubbles pop with certain levels of sound cause light and, in the pistol shrimp's case, temperatures of around 8,500 Fahrenheit, or 4,700 Celsius. To put that in perspective, when there's a really hot day, it's usually around 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius due to the sun. The surface temperature of the sun is 9,900 Fahrenheit or 5,500 Celsius. That's crazy. <laughs> but anyway, they're the top three which I picked including the vile plume, and there are many more that can be put together and actually correlate to both the behaviours and the characteristics of their real life counterparts. Anyway, if you know any yourself, let me know in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching and goodbye.